<laughs> I think the president needs to know mm -hmm. that Kenyans are done with him. Completely. Done with him? Completely. Uh -huh. What do you mean? He let's, cannot let's dictate us. Yeah. The president cannot dictate us. Mm. The constitution in chapter 6 says authority given to a state officer is to serve, not to rule. Mm -hmm. That's a constitutional provision in Article 75 of the Constitution. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I've seen in this country where the president is even building, today I've uh, kept away from uh, mentioning names, but you and I know that you can't build on public land and sell to private owners. You don't need a, a, a degree in law. You don't need to be a professor. The, cal the cal houses that were built in Kaloleni and in Makongeni and in Shaurumoyo and in all these places still public. on government land, you can't sell them. <laughs> you cannot sell them. Mm. So when the president stands on top of vehicles and tells people that uh, he is going to build houses and sell, he knows he's lying. And I don't know why Kenyans are allowing him to do that. Oh, my God. The second thing that I have to say about leadership is that we all know that housing is a devolved function. Right now, I'm getting calls at the office from all over the country that this KRA uh, militia, they call them marshals, <laughs> are uh, harassing them in their farms, they are counting the animals. The national government, under the constitution, is not allowed to, count to animals. charge says. Mm. The national government cannot collect says. The county government. It's can. only the county government can do. Mm. So why are we even why are we even having these conversations in this country? In the first place. It is it is not supposed to be going on, right? So the citizens of this country should get a bit serious. So civic education is, is what, what is tells people what the county government functions are, mm. what the national government functions are. But that so you cannot build on land. Mm. Who's, who's it is job the job is of the state. But in a country where, since independence, we've had governments where, and le let me say this on, because people do not know it, in this country, six families and 8,000 Kenyans, six families and 8,000 Kenyans control 90% of the GDP. 90% of the GDP. It's controlled by 8,000 people. Six families. Six families and 8,000 people. They control 90%. We are not a country. We are a plantation. <laughs> we live in people's... <laughs> we, are not, we are not a country. We are a plantation. <laughs> we are not worse. We are not better off than uh, what used to exist in the, in the medieval times when there was slavery and... Uh, because uh, we, we, work for, we work for Ruto. Mm. We work for, for, for these 8,000 guys. Six families. That's why they can afford to buy houses in Dubai at the cost of 210 million, 207 million. That's why Ruto's ministers can import edible oil and, uh, and evade and uh, lose, the country loses 11 billion shillings like that. This is why uh, a government minister writes and says, I want 17 billion to buy uh, 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 oil, sub to pay oil subsidy. And that money is withdrawn from the consolidated fund, which is criminal and illegal, which is uh, treason, and it's happening. Uh, the reason the president can order Eric, mm -hmm. the, the president can order and tell parliament, if you don't pass that finance bill, Mutaniona, mm -hmm. yeah. is because he knows from the intelligence that 80% uh, of those guys have uh, cases and cr criminal records, <laughs> and uh, if they do not give him his bill, He's going to just order a, a lot of them to be rounded around. Unleash files. And you, you'll unleash files. So if you do not elect men and women of credibility mm -hmm. to these houses, those institutions will not function. So civic education, political education is very fundamental to changing the quality of citizenship. Because once you change the quality of citizenship, you change the quality of leadership, the quality of policies, the quality of programs, and corruption vanishes. And then the country flourishes. The country just flourishes. So it's not complex at all. 
but we have to do a correct analysis in the problem tree mm. to understand where do the citizens so the citizens are the main in the middle and we call them the stem mm. they are the the ones holding the country together mm. what they do in the middle in terms of this corruption in terms of this ukabila mm. tribalism and in terms of this problem of religion religion is a problem in this country you have a problem with religion i don't have a problem with religion but the kind of religion that is practiced in this country mm. all right mm -hmm. even in germany <laughs> during the hitler uh, nazi time we know that there were nearly 18000 churches only 3000 churches said we can't allow this kind of uh, persecution and killing of people simply because they are jew mm. because they knew that once the jews have been dealt with mm -hmm. they'll be next they will be next mm -hmm. so they stood up and said no gentlemen we don't have a problem with your politics and everything else but we do not agree with this nazi ideology mm. so what have we done in this country and we can't do it we know we can't do it because of the quality of citizens that we have mm. so that is where we have to start and it's very easy it's doable we have done it before and we must defend this constitution and you are going to see some of us i i wasn't supposed to disclose some of these things uh, here mm. but uh, because you called me <laughs> i think the president needs to know mm -hmm. that kenyans are done with him completely done with him completely uh -huh. what do you mean he let's, cannot let's dictate us yeah. the president cannot dictate us mm. the constitution in chapter 6 says authority given to a state officer is to serve not to rule mm -hmm. that's a constitutional provision in article 75 of the constitution mm -hmm. you are given authority to serve not to rule mm the president and the giver of that authority yes the, the giver of the authority is citizens mm -hmm. so it, when you read article 1 article 2 and article 3 of the constitution article 1 says the people are sovereign the citizens are sovereign yep. article 2 says we donate power yeah article 3 says it's our responsibility to defend the constitution mm -hmm. there are more than 26 violations that the president has already done why is the president doing these things with impunity because he knows that the parliament will not impeach him uh -huh. so because parliament is not going to do this we are now going to the constitution to look at article one article two and article three in the article one article two and article three has given us what we can do to remove a president who has violated the constitution uh -huh. those are the steps we are now going to take uh, so that the president comes back to respecting the constitution which puts him in office 26 violations are many even mean? one is enough yeah. 26 are too many that a president can violate the constitution at will without being checked by anybody 26 in 18 months in 18 ma 16 <laughs> months in 16 months. in 16 months 26 violations 26 violations how many more to go uh so i i don't know uh, 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 how how you you can you can live with a president like that for for all these years so we have to come to a place where we ask ourselves what's the meaning of the responsibility given to citizens in article 3 to defend the constitution so we are going to defend the constitution what? Let's take a break. Yes. We have to defend it. This is Legrand from Simple Generations.